in this video we will review some basic virtual machine settings. You should really only need to do most of these one time when you first start using and um, setting up the virtual machine, but some of these things are good to know as you make changes in the future. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, if you remember in the, the setup, video or the installation video for the virtual machine, we added a an empty disk here in our storage tab. Um, so we are actually going to use this disk to update what's the VMware um, guest editions. In guest editions, they allow for different features to be added in VMware. Some of the more useful ones are it will auto scale the resolution of the virtual machine to that of your monitor. So, but it includes several other uh, useful features as well. By default, we do have guest editions pre-installed in the virtual machine, but as these were installed when the virtual machine was created, there are most likely updates to guest editions that have come out since then. So here is how to update it. So in this case, uh, as long as you have that blank disk selected or available in, in the settings, uh, in the storage, you have this blank disk. If we, so in this case, we can uh, insert the guest edition CD. Um, once we've done that, you'll see if we come down here to computer, we can see our computer much like Windows. I just need to find. Uh, you can just click on the file manager here and down here you'll see in devices our CD DVD drive and this VBox editions is inserted. Um, so in this case we can auto run it and by clicking the auto run sh and it's going to ask for authentication um, of the super user. So in the virtual machine, the default, the password or the, the username is CCS and the password is default. So in this case, we're going to type default, D-E-F-A-U-L-T. And there we go. So it's going to go ahead and install the latest guest editions onto our machine for us. At least it should. Um, while that is happening, we can go over some additional settings. Oh, it looks like it's finishing. Okay, so there's, it's gonna, install some things. Um, all right, so once we have the guest editions being installed, like I said, you, you should already have a version of guest editions running. Um, should be enough to be able to scale your computer. So one of the main things that happen when you first start up the virtual machine is sometimes the virtual machine itself will be a small desktop within your within your screen. Um, so Kubuntu we've used because it's very similar. It's a Linux operating system, but it's very similar to Windows. So a lot of the things like um, changing the resolution of your screen in Windows, it's done in very similar ways in Kubuntu. So in this case, uh, we're going to go system settings. Uh, you can also see that in computer system settings here. 
and we're going to click display and monitor and here you get display configuration so if we click this button you'll see a list of resolutions available um, you know and you can click whatever one fits your computer or your monitor that you're working on um, so for me I've always had it to be scaled to my computer without too much of an issue um, hopefully that should be the same for you guys okay uh, discard changes since nothing's needed uh, looks like that is done so we can hit enter and the updated guest editions have installed for us and then lastly we're going to look at network settings so if we go uh, devices network and network settings up here it'll take you to the virtual box settings that we looked at briefly before and under network we'll see a bunch of different network uh, options so these are options within VirtualBox for how the virtual machine will connect to the external network. Um, there are two options that generally work for people, uh, in including myself. So one is NAT and the other is a bridged adapter. So right now I'm set at NAT. Um, we can hit OK and, you know, I can click on Firefox down here and test to make sure that I can reach the, the internet outside. And you see I'm in my virtual machine. Um, you know, I can go to our main website and I can already see it's connecting. So I am connected to the internet within my virtual machine. And that's what you want to check. So in later demos and uh, examples to actually build software and deploy it to the virtual or deploy it to the displays, we're going to need to be able to connect outside of our virtual machine to the larger, to the internet and to our host machine. So if you can connect to the internet, uh, that's a good sign. So if you cannot, I would recommend trying to switch your adapter type to bridged um, and see if that works. Also, something to keep in mind is under network, make sure this symbol here is right here. It's set at disconnected. Um, and you'll see here wireless connection to deactivated and uh, if I open this up now, you know, we, we get no server. Um, so make sure that this symbol shows you're connected here. And you'll see down here as well this, like, X on the computer. Um, so once you're connected, again, it should just be a, a normal connection. You can click on the computer and see uh, the connected sign for wired internet. And we'll reload this and we're back um okay i think uh this is a short video so just basic setup and we should be good